calendar glitches. One of Illig's primary pieces of smoking gun evidence revolves around calendar drift. Now, this part requires a quick detour into how calendars actually work. The Julian calendar, which was widely used before the Gregorian reform, wasn't perfectly accurate. It miscalculated the length of the solar year by about 11 minutes and 14 seconds. Over time, these small errors accumulate, causing the calendar to drift out of sync with the actual astronomical seasons. Specifically, it loses about one day every 128 years. By the year 1582, when Pope Gregory XIII introduced his much needed calendar reform, the seasons had visibly slipped by a full 10 days. So to correct this, Gregory simply deleted 10 days from the calendar, jumping directly from October 4th to October 15th, 1582. This brought the calendar back into alignment with the vernal equinox. But here's where Illig spots his supposed glitch. He argued that if you calculate the true drift from the Council of Nicaea in AD 325, a key historical marker for calendar calculations, to 1582, the math should have demanded a correction of 13 days, not 10. His verdict, those missing three days, weren't a miscalculation. They were proof that somebody had already padded the timeline with phantom years. If you rewind the true astronomical drift, Illig claimed those 297 phantom years simply evaporate, neatly explaining the discrepancy. It's a neat party trick, a seemingly elegant solution to a complex problem. The only hitch, though, is pretty significant. Every astronomer from ancient Rome to imperial Beijing, every celestial observer who ever charted a star or predicted an eclipse, completely contradicts him. Eclipse tables, meticulously recorded planetary alignments, even the detailed Islamic star tables that track celestial movements with incredible precision. They all line up perfectly with the accepted chronology. They don't show any missing centuries. If 297 years had vanished, the night sky would have told a completely different story. And those ancient astronomers, who were often far more skilled than we give them credit for, would have noticed. Whoops. It turns out the universe isn't a fan of historical fraud. The Document Desert proponents of the Phantom Time hypothesis often love to lean into the romanticised and largely misleading nickname for the early Middle Ages, the Dark Ages. 